Praise God. Today we continue with our series on the causes of difficulties in life and the Christian worldview on that. We are on the second point, which is oppression by the enemy. John 10, 10 reminds us that the thief does not come except to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. And uh, the thief is the devil. And he uses the evil world system to sustain oppression against people. Today we talk about the psychosocial tactics that the enemy uses to oppress people. This could include uh, depression, uh, the, the weakening uh, of the family unit. And how's that done? By glamorizing divorce, uh, the equality movement. Just know men and women are not equal. They, uh, they are both at, at, uh, good at what they, they were created to do. Uh, the laws favoring certain gender, or I'd say women are favored in most Western nations. And you can research and see that. And uh, just changing the way people look at things. Ephesians 5.23 says, For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its savior. Uh, being the head does not mean you dominate and be mean to the woman. But there are roles everywhere. And, and um, the, the evil world system tries to weaken that by making it the other way around. The woman becoming the head of the home. And that, that's why marriage is most... Marriages in some areas don't work. The other way, the psychosocial methods is forcing women to overwork. And working is good for both men and women. But I'll tell you, uh, most mom choose, most, some moms choose career over nurturing uh, of kids in the family unit. And they end up frustrated and alone. You can argue with me, but that's reality. The other way that the enemy uses um, uh, to oppress people is the media. You know, all adverts, uh, some of them lead to consumerism. Everyone is in a constant state of need. I need this, I need this. The music and the pop culture, you know, for, for example, a, a good example is hip hop and rock. Uh, and even movies, they normalize sins such as adultery, theft, theft, and they influence people towards violence, drug abuse, and incarcerations. And, and the last one that I'd mention, and uh, there are more, but I've mentioned about the education system. It's good and bad. It's tailored to create a nation of workers, not thinkers and entrepreneurs. And uh, that's unfortunate as well. But uh, it oppresses some people who are made to do other things. And we need Jesus. And we need him urgently. So that we can overcome this type of oppression. If you've not invited him in your life, please do. We'll continue with the next installment tomorrow. God bless you.